Hello and welcome back to our next YouTube video. Uh, this video is entitled Bacterial Genetics and we are going to go over the three mechanisms by which bacterial cells can take up new genes. All right, so here is our first method and here of course is our bacterial cell. And here is a piece of naked double-stranded DNA, and double-stranded DNA can enter the bacterial cell, and this process is known as transformation. So here is the DNA inside of the cell, and this small circular piece of DNA, this is a bacterial plasmid. So plasmid is a small piece of double-stranded DNA. All right. In the next process, we have a virus. So here would be a bacterial phage. Virus. And we learned, we learned about the life cycle of viruses, that viruses can attach to bacterial cells and they can inject their DNA. So injected DNA that can then be transduced into the cell. So this mechanism is known as transduction of foreign DNA into a bacterial cell. In the third mechanism, we have bacterial mating or bacterial conjugation. So here we have <clears throat> a donor cell and here we have a recipient cell. Now the donor possesses genes on its plasmid. So this right here is an F plasmid. That stands for fertility plasmid because fertility plasmids encode mating bridges. Okay, so here is this mating bridge through which newly synthesized DNA, all right, which can include resistance genes, can be transferred into the recipient cell. Okay, so I know that it is a basic review of what we just went over in the lecture, but I think it's an important one for you guys to draw for yourselves.